Jane attended the University of Tampa, Troy State University, and the FBI National Academy. At the University of Tampa, she was a volleyball and basketball star. This did not surprise me one bit when I was standing next to her. Um, after graduating from the University of Tampa, she joined and served the Tampa Police Department for 31 years. She later became the Assistant Chief and then the Chief of Police. Jane is the first woman and uh, the first gay woman to serve in this role. She is a trailblazer in her career and in a way that supports those from underrepresented groups. After retiring as a chief of police, it was speculated that she would be a candidate for mayor. She was, and she is the mayor. In an elected's video, I learned a few things about her, and I will say that I really enjoyed watching this video. Uh, Jane considers herself to be a public servant rather than a politician. Her favorite part of her job is interacting with the community and playing a part in the growth of her community. She believes that Tampa is a big city with a small town feeling where you feel like part of the community, and I'm sure most of us have already experienced this. She comes from humble beginnings from a family of five whose parents were in carpentry, and in fact, one of the local furniture, they own one of the local furniture stores. One of Jane's favorite things to do is to take out of towners on a boat ride down the river, and Mayor Jane, I know I would really enjoy that. Um, <laughs> So many of the mayor's thoughts that I heard in this uh, elected's video really resonated with me personally. Uh, and especially her belief that we learn from our mistakes is so much more valuable than our successes. Everything that I have learned about the mayor convinces me that she would be an excellent MAA member because her values align with ours. It is such a great honor to have you here today, so please help me in welcoming the mayor of Tampa. All right, thank you, Tentia, and welcome MAA to the beautiful city of Tampa. I'm so, so glad that you guys chose to come here to our incredible city. I'm a bit proud of our city, a, a little biased in that I was born and raised here, but uh, Tampa is one of the fastest growing cities in the United States. Uh, we were named the one of the top 50 places in the entire world by Time Magazine uh, recently. Uh, we're number one, sorry for anybody else from other cities in the state of Florida, but we were named number one city in the state of Florida as well. And uh, a lot of firsts for us, but we are growing dramatically. One of the reasons that I ran for the position of mayor is that the city's gonna change more in this time that I'm, I'm in office than it has in my entire life. So to be a part of the growth and helping our city uh, realize its potential is just an honor uh, beyond imagination for me. And as Tinsia said, I'm not much of a, a politician. I actually have people that follow me around that's, you know, they follow me around going, this is what she meant to say. So I just kind of say it the way I see it. So again, thank you all. Uh, the three words that I hear to describe our city the most are friendly, welcoming, and safe. And those three words warm my heart. So I hope that you all find uh, that that's the case for you too. You know, as soon as you get here, you feel like you're a part of this community, especially when you start your journey. If you came by plane in uh, the world's best airport, well, the United States best airport, I'm on the board, so I say the world's best airport. And if you didn't get a chance to see the giant flamingo, uh, you, have to, you have to go get photos by uh, our flamingo. But um, we have a lot to offer. I hope you get to see that. Before I talk about all of the wonderful things that we have here in this city, I have to deliver some, I guess, rather bad news. My boat only holds eight people. So you guys, y'all are the mathematicians, so narrow it down, all right? And uh, I can give you guys a boat ride. But um, uh, 
I just want to say thank you for what you do, you know, as professors, as teachers. I just had this discussion yesterday with a group. I was talking about uh, impactful individuals. And when someone asks you who really impacted your life, who made a positive difference in your life, one of the first couple names that are going to come out of anyone's mouth is a teacher someone who really touched them, who, who lit that fire, who was able to guide them uh, in a direction down a path that they may not have even considered that they could travel. So I thank you for all that you do. Uh, I do have to admit, I have zero math skills. We discussed this earlier. I just left a uh, meeting we're doing, I'm presenting to our city council, our 2024 budget tomorrow morning. And when I said that I was coming to speak uh, to the MAA um, mathematics conference, my CFO laughed a little too loudly. <laughs> so they know, uh, they know, they know, they know without a doubt. But the one equation that I can do hands down is I know that sunshine, water, plus water, minus humidity equals big fun. So <laughs> I can't pull out the humidity, but I can certainly give you the other two without a doubt. But we have a, a huge focus on mathematics, on STEM here in our community and all that it touches. We have so many different companies uh, that are moving to our city. Uh, each and every day, I told someone that I was going to have to uh, get one of those carpal tunnel braces uh, because I've cut so many uh, ribbons on new businesses that uh, it's, it's affecting my hands. But it really is great to see our city grow and to see uh, the effects that STEM uh, have in our community. One of our administrators uh, is, a matter of fact, as I walked out, Gene Duncan said, uh, I love math. And I said, well, I hope so. You're an engineer. But um, she has a group, she and some other engineers have a STEM group at one of our local middle schools that encourage young women, female students in the fields of, uh, of STEM. So a lot going on in our community. I hope that you all learn a lot while you're here, but I hope you carve out some time for fun. I wouldn't advocate for you skipping out on any of the wonderful programs that are, are going to be presented, but if you have to, we do have some, some wonderful, wonderful attractions that are all within walking distance here. Take a ride on our streetcar, our city is a city that was built on diversity. Um, we have, just down the river here, we have the Madam Fortune Taylor Bridge, uh, one of the first freed African-American slaves in the state of Florida. Uh, she owned 40 acres right on the Hillsborough River and had all kinds of uh, groves, different trees, vegetables, gardens, and she actually sold a portion of her land to create the city of Tampa. Uh, Spaniards, um, Italians came to Tampa to build the cigar industry. We are known as Cigar City. Any of you guys who like uh, cigars, we've got cigar bars all around. Uh, Ybor City is actually where all of the cigar manufacturing um, plants were uh, at, factories were at. And that's fascinating. The Newman Cigar Factory has a museum. If you have a few times, a few minutes, and you want to see the history of cigar making, that is fascinating and it's not far from here. Also, they still have individuals that roll cigars each and every day, up to a hundred of those. Take streetcar down into Ybor City, you'll find the Columbia Restaurant. It's the oldest restaurant in the state of Florida. And uh, it's easy to remember the year because they have their famous salad as a 1905 salad. I'll give you a little head start on that. If one person orders it, everybody better because it's loaded with garlic and it's really, really good. <laughs> Another heads up tip there, if you get their imported sangria, it is really good. It's got brandy in it, but be very careful because it's all good till the little old lady with a sledgehammer comes and hits you in the head. That brandy will get you after a couple of glasses of that. But uh, a lot to see and do down in that area. We have Sparkman Wharf. Uh, Water Street is the first of its kind um, uh, neighborhood 
in the entire United States. We have our Champa Bay, we are known as. We've won three Stanley Cups, and that I know is hard to believe for those people uh, that from, are from the Northeast, but we are rabid hockey fans. I've never been on ice skates in my life, and I'm a rabid hockey fan. But the owner of our Lightning, Jeff Venick, bought 50 acres of flat parking land down in this uh, parking lots down in this area and he has turned that into one of a kind um, environmental environmentally healthy neighborhood so i know you guys are staying in the jw marriott and the marriott and the embassy suites those are all part of that a number of restaurants down in that area a lot to do on the water uh, go out watch the sunset Dolphins will come up. We do not cue them in. They just come up naturally. So you'll see dolphins and manatees while you're here as well. But there is a lot to do. Our aquarium is right down the street as well. So please, please, please um, enjoy, enjoy. And I only have one favor to ask of you. When you leave the city, we do have one additional screening process you have to go through if you flew. And that process is to ensure that you have spent every single penny while you're here in the city. You've maxed out all of your credit cards. And I just want to say thank you in advance for helping our economy and our budget out. So I hope you have a wonderful conference and convention. Uh, we are, as I like to say, the bastion of common sense and sanity in the state of Florida. Thank you for believing in Tampa. We are a friendly, welcoming community. I made, uh, did a, a bit for a video for a national fundraiser uh, for drag queens. And I said in my 31 years in law enforcement, I've seen a lot of dangerous things and drag's not one of them. So we are here to support everyone in our community. So thank you all. And I hope you have a wonderful time while you're here. I don't know about you, but I love that Spitfire energy. Thank you, Mayor Castor. I want to remind you that the exhibit hall is going to open at 7 o'clock and we will be celebrating some of our uh, prize awardees there. Uh, we have a great reception waiting for all of you. Thank you all for being here. Enjoy your time. Um, and we're very excited. We're very excited to be here and to have you all here. Thank you.